Hey guys, if you've been tracking with me for any length of time, you know that I just finished a six week tour to five different locations with my ballet company, totaling 27 shows. This vlog is encapsulating my one week of company break where I finally got to see my family again and I got to take my mum to Prague for her birthday slash Mother's Day. I hope you will enjoy. So on this trip, I told myself I would try and avoid having porridge. Try different things, Hannah. But guess what the first thing I did on this trip was get porridge at Starbucks. And it was actually surprisingly quite good. getting on the plane. If you guys are new around here, my name is Hannah Watson. And for Mother's Day slash her birthday, I decided to take her to Prague for three days. So I'm really excited. We're just boarding the plane now. Oh, it's almost time. I actually think I might have a snooze on the plane. I'm a bit tired. Did we go the wrong way? Oh, look, there you go. Okay, the first thing I've seen of Prague is Luz. And look, you have like these really nice little chairs. There's so much space. And it smells amazing. It's so clean here. It's amazing chicken Caesar wrap. I should have taken a video of the place, but it's like really fresh smoothies and stuff. And we're gonna eat this at the airport before getting on the bus to the hotel. I have to say, this being my first thing I had in Prague, it was incredible. like she has done this whole trip so far. We're on the metro and it's really exciting. We didn't know whether we needed to buy another one of these, but uh, we're gonna find out. There's only two platforms. We just walked out into like central Prague and it's so pretty already. It's with four buildings. I'm so excited. Do you wanna just walk for a second and just enjoy? Wow. I didn't realize how much I love traveling until right now, right in this moment. So after walking around for a little bit, we worked up quite an appetite and we went to this amazing Italian restaurant, which was straight on the big high street, I believe. And the food was incredible. Maybe it was because I was extra hungry. The waiter was also so nice and even got my mum a map. She was very happy. And I was happy because I had pizza. So we were just happy all round. So we are here. This is the National Theatre of Prague. Yeah, I got a leaflet with the dance on it. And then we have the beautiful, I don't even know what this lake is, but it just, is it a lake, a river? But I can't get over how pretty it is here. Thank you. Thank you, mum was the one who suggested frog, so I have, all, I have her to thank for all of this.
long. <laughs> Hello there. passed out last night and didn't vlog much because I was very very tired. We did 15,000 steps which I feel quite proud about but today I want to hit the 20. I want to hit 20k steps. We had the most amazing dinner at this Italian restaurant and now we're about to go down to breakfast. I haven't done a room tour as you can tell the bathroom is pretty nice. I had a bath last night and it was amazing and I'll do a proper room tour in a minute but first food. I feel so Which I know you shouldn't really do when you're slicing, but, but I want to get a new outfit. I don't ever normally go shopping for these sort of things, but this H&M is so cool. There's like these literally look like princess. Very much enjoy my time, and I think. What do we think of the outfit? I think I might get this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like dress, I just don't know if it will fit my bag on the way home. We are on a budget, so I've got to think about that too. It's because we've been shut out, shut out of our rooms. I did get a nice hotel, I promise. The key won't work. So we've been waiting here for about 15 minutes, so. It's been 15 say? minutes now, they said five. I can tell you by the Guys, how cool is this? A popcorn store. Like, all it sells is popcorn. How cool is that? Comment down below if you guys like popcorn. All different types of popcorn, how cool. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. Oh, Wild berries and cool water are our mouths to lie. We set a fire beneath the moon's light. No one else to disturb us. We enjoy the night and fall asleep warm, side by side. Up at dawn, I can see your breath of morning light warms our skin as we bathe in the riverside. The water's cold and it's dangerous. But it brings me to life So we stand to read tongues of green and white I'm sure that the water won't mind If we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise I'm sure that the current won't mind If we rest our bodies for the night and leave before sunrise I'm sure that the water won't So guys, you know how much I love stairs 
Oh my goodness. I feel like we've gone up two flights, mum. Let's do this thing. Let you guys know if we ever make it. We've now gone over to Prague Castle, but we've walked about five times around it to try and figure out how to get to it. We're earning our breakfast, so that's what I said. Oh, but it's such nice weather. I was so blessed. Mum, what's been your favourite part so far? The boat trip. Oh, guys, the boat trip. It felt like we were sunbathing on there. I could have been there all day. The only thing that could have improved it is a pool or on the boat. Breakfast was rather nice as well, actually. But probably the bougiest Starbucks I've ever mm -hmm. been to. And if you're not jealous, then um, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Where were you this day? Probably in the studio where they should be. Well, I don't know. It's company break. Company break. Company break. Mm -hmm. My fourth day off. I got one more day off tomorrow, and then I will try and start doing something on Friday, moving my limbs in some way. Look, we've got we've got iPads to order our food here. <laughs> Caesar salad, yum! So we had a really nice dinner, then we went back to the hotel quickly, drank some water, because we really needed some water, because I was super dehydrated because I have got some sun, I don't know. Oh my goodness, my skin has seen the sun. What is this? Now we're gonna walk and watch the sunset while having, I don't know what they're called. You call them trees. If you're from Prague, I'm really sorry. Sorry if this is completely wrong, but they, we've seen them here and they're like cones. They're, they're everywhere. So we're gonna try them for you and then tell you if they're worth it because everyone's been having them and I'm super excited. Got ice cream in there. So this is the cone. Yeah. Say it tastes a bit like panettone. Really, really nice panettone. And we're on the lovely bridge. Good. What's your rating? Mm. So highly mm. anton. Mm. I'd probably give mine a nine though. So the hotel lobby was absolutely gorgeous. I loved walking into it every day. I've got to be honest. The chandeliers were definitely a highlight for me. 
Also being a palace hotel, it felt very upper market. So we really enjoyed that. And I had a lovely bath on this night. Me and mum watched a film before we retired for the evening and then came breakfast. Let me tell you, the breakfast was amazing. So much variety, so many different cakes. And yes, we did do a cake test, trying every single one. Really nice cooked breakfast. Definitely recommend the bacon. I did try the porridge, not as good as mine, so we didn't go for it. Um, I also really like this multi-vitamin juice that was there. I don't know if I've got a video of it. And you could also ask for poached eggs, omelettes, and they would bake them on command. Bake them, cook them, sorry, on demand. And they were cooked to perfection. So overall, the breakfast was such a great experience and they had pancakes and Nutella. And let's be honest, nothing quite beats pancakes and Nutella. So overall, a good, I I'm gonna say nine out of 10 because the porridge could have been better. Good morning everyone, it is our final day in Prague, which is so sad, we're gonna have to check out the hotel in about 20 minutes. But before that, as always, I'm gonna do my hotel room review. The things I needed are a little bit different now to the things I kind of need on tour. So it'll be interesting like reviewing this room as a holiday. Well, I was about to say we spent a bit of time at the hotel, but actually I would say I probably spent more time at the hotels on tour than we have you here. You would have done, yeah. I've been thinking, why do I do this always on the last day when we use the room the most? I've realized now why. I've stayed in it for three days and I can actually give an honest review. When you first arrive, you haven't lived in it. But subconsciously, that's probably what I was doing. Okay, now for the room review. So I had to turn the camera back on and say that. So first, as you come in the room, I'm coming from the, the door here. I don't know if you can see through that. These lovely mirrors for wardrobes. Nice load of space as well and some drawers at the bottom. And just more space. I mean, how many clothes do you need? I don't know. And then here we have the little coat hangers for the coat. And over here we have a little desk, chair, another mirror. There's lots of mirrors in this place, which is, is always good for doing the makeup. Although I haven't actually put loads of makeup on this trip because I was just trying to let my face relax from all that stage makeup we wore the last few weeks. The decor is very like kind of fancy. I love these big windows. It makes me feel like a princess. The TV is here, but we didn't really watch any. These cups, guys, they're tiny. They are cute, but they're absolutely midget. You had a nice little selection, but no biscuits again. We did have, however, a mini fridge. I can't say the view is that appealing. Over here we have just nice, a nice chair. The beds, I actually found the beds quite comfortable. They're quite firm. The pillows, I'm telling you guys, these pillows were amazing, super fluffy. Um, and we did get bathrobes, which guys, comment down below. The test of a really good hotel is if you get the bathrobes. We have these nice artworks over here. Abstract. Comment down below what you would name this one. I would name it Confused. There's a lot going on in that painting. This one over here, you can't really see because of the light. And then in here, perhaps my favourite part of the whole room is this bathroom. Can you... The design and everything is just so pretty. This hairdryer. If you want to be extra, you can be a bit, be a bit extra. Come on, we should take a selfie in here later. <laughs> We used some of these, but they had some nice, nice products. You even got like a nail file and stuff. A really, really nice deep sink. And this bath, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. So deep, ran really quickly, nice hot water, all the things you want in a bath. I think that's pretty much the whole room, but I have loved staying here. I really don't want to leave. It's so sad. We're going to go explore a bit more of Prague today. I think we're going to revisit some of our favorite places as well that we were at yesterday. That's the agenda for today. So we went about and did some window shopping to start the day. And then we actually went in one of my mum's favorite designers, which is Disney, where we found this crazy top. Anyway, I also noticed that there was these crazy candy shops everywhere where they would just have loads and loads and loads of sweets. I mean, there was dozens of them all around Prague, uh, which I just thought was really interesting. So I thought I'd include it in this foodie vloggy travel thing i don't even know what you want to call this 26 minute documentary but yeah
This was how mum got the shot. <laughs> oh, right, okay, thanks, mum. <laughs> thanks for those details. went to the castle which is just over there and we had a little look around and then we've just been sitting here for an hour because this is my favorite part that we've seen of prague this starbucks is definitely the best one and now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat because hannah's getting a bit hungry so we walked a good hour to get to this herbivore cafe but boy was it worth it it wasn't just a cafe, it was actually like a health shop as well. But we were like the only ones in there and it was golden hour. I loved all the cute quotes on the wall to get you inspired and I loved the menu. It was so healthy, so simplistic and honestly, I think this is the favourite place that we went to eat. Hello there. Moving forward. best meal we've had since we got here. It's just so good and it was all like healthy food. Well, the banana bread maybe not. I had peanut butter which actually is quite good for you. It's strong. So peanut butter you could have done without. Like maybe not as much. This one for me was 10 out of 10. No, 9 out of 10. Less peanut butter. The 10 out of 10 was brilliant. I would say 10 out of 10 for what it was. couldn't finish our bus journey back so we're gonna have to have to walk actually lots of police just came on the bus said that they're not moving i'm like running i smelled gas and i was like is it gonna blow up i'm not ready to die okay update everyone we didn't die we found the airport we were what we think there's this a big park. building that says Praha, unless it's a big shopping center so all the lights are off and all the electricity is off I don't know why and it's freaking me out a bit. And we just asked the police and they don't know why. Uh, this is duty free but it looks... Oh my goodness. Who knew Le um, Costa Coffee did lemon water? They don't do that in the UK. We need to get on our flight. The gate's just opened so... I'm feeling a bit tired. Guys, we done. 
by the end of today, we would have done about 25,000 steps. We've upped it 5,000 every day. Like, my legs, they're used to a lot of action, but they hurt. My calves hurt, my feet hurt, but we have had the most amazing time in Prague. If you've got to the end of this vlog, make sure to comment this emoji and have the most amazing time. I feel so grateful, so, so privileged and so grateful for this time. Guys, make sure to subscribe, like, turn on the post notifications and I better go otherwise we're gonna miss our flight. So dream big and make it happen because this is my dream and it came true. Ooh.